Hi, in this video I'll be sharing three insider tips for landing your first corporate job. Now, applying for corporate jobs can be really stressful, especially if it's your first one and you're having to balance uni on the side. But by understanding a little bit about the psychology of job hunting and what recruiters are looking for, you can increase your chances of being successful. So some quick information about me and my background. I'm the first in my family to go to university where I studied psychology and had a minor in British Sign Language. I managed to achieve a first in my degree whilst balancing multiple jobs. I graduated in 2021 and started working as an intern around two weeks after handing in my dissertation uh, and was luckily offered a permanent position at our company where I continue to work as a diversity, inclusion and talent consultant within HR. Tip number one, focus on your soft skills. While technical skills and experience are really important for most jobs, there are so many employers who are now increasingly looking for candidates who have strong soft skills, such as communication, teamwork and problem solving. In fact, one study by LinkedIn found that 92% of hiring managers said that soft skills are just as important, or in some cases more so than technical skills. The reason for this is that most companies will happily train you if you don't have all the technical skills or experience, so long as you fit the company culture and values and have the soft skills that they're looking for. Ultimately, it is easier for companies to train technical skills than soft skills, and that's where they will prioritise, in some cases, hiring people who have the right soft skills even if they don't have all of the necessary experience. So when crafting your CV or cover letter, make sure you really highlight your soft skills and use specific examples to illustrate how you've demonstrated those skills and what the benefits have been. And use your interview to really show off your soft skills and explain why you fit into that company culture. People often joke about personality highs, but if you're able to get along with the interviewer, that means you're probably a good fit for the company culture and that makes recruiters want to hire you more. Tip number two, be mindful of your online presence. Many employers will check your social media profiles and online presence as part of standard hiring process. So it's really important to be mindful of your online presence and how it might be perceived by potential employers. I'd recommend you start by Googling your name in cognito mode and just seeing what comes up. There might be things that you haven't necessarily posted, but your friends have and have tagged you in it. Therefore, your name is linked to those posts. So it's always a good idea to just double check. Make sure your online profiles are up to date, such as on LinkedIn, and that they reflect the image you want to portray to your potential employer. Make sure you remove any content that's unprofessional or controversial. And it's not to say that you can't post what you want, but if you're going to do it, do it in a smart way to so make sure you've got an account that's private and make sure that your full name isn't linked to your username. Tip number three, consider unconventional job search methods. While applying to job postings is the most common and obvious way to land a role, there are actually a lot of other methods outside of that that might be a bit unconventional but can still lead you to get a job. By thinking creatively and thinking outside of the box, you increase your chances of finding a dream job. To use my experience as an example, I worked as an intern um, straight after uni and it was supposed to only be a temporary position. I explicitly remember my manager <laughs> telling me that I wouldn't be offered a permanent job afterwards. Even though I knew that, I still decided to give the job my all, do 100% effort into the work I was doing, and use the time to network and talk to as many people as possible, including senior EXCO members, which really allowed me to show my value to the company and what I could offer the company. And clearly that worked because halfway through my internship, they then retracted what they had initially said and decided to offer me a permanent position. So it's really good to consider out of the box thinking when looking for jobs. Consider attending networking events or industry conferences to meet professionals in the field you want to go to. Maybe apply for apprenticeships or internships instead as a non-conventional route into landing a job. Reach out to hiring managers or recruiters to express your interest in the company, even if they don't have a role going at the time. And don't be afraid to create your own job by pitching a project or an idea to a company and then explaining that you're the best person to lead that. By following these three tips and applying a little bit of psychology to your job hunting, you'll be well on your way to landing your first corporate job. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you'd like more tips on work-life balance, jobs, careers and productivity. And be sure to let me know what topics you'd like me to cover next time. Thanks. Whilst applying to job postings is the most obvious way and common way is the most obvious and common way. Mm -hmm. Activity. Ah. Advice. And you'd like further advice on work. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So thank you for watching.